Hey guys, wanted to uh, share with you some tips on copper coins and um, how to identify corrosion and um, just what to look for uh, in terms of what makes an attractive copper coin. Um, so I've got in front of me two different uh, large cents. One of them is in 1845 on the left and then the one on the right is in 1803. And they're different designs but um, side by side I think it's still helpful for you to just see the differences between what makes an attractive one and what makes an unattractive one. So both of these coins are circulated. The one on the left is maybe an XF or AU and the one on the right has maybe like a VF details. Now the one on the right has corrosion on it. Now maybe that came from being in the ground for a while. Maybe this coin got dug up by a metal detectorist um, or uh, you know, any, any multitude of things could have happened. It might have been stored improperly when um, it was put away for a long time. Um, but something happened and the actual copper surfaces of the coin have been chemically etched by, you know, whatever the corroding agent was. So they, they look kind of pebbly. Um, you can see they're very discolored. And um, the, the, as a result, the coin isn't as glossy. It's lost some of its detail. Now compare that to the coin on the right, or the left, excuse me, the 1845. You can see that this coin's surfaces are, even though it's been circulated, very smooth and glossy, and it has what are called hard surfaces, is the term you'll sometimes hear. So you want those hard, kind of chocolate brown surfaces. Um, they, they look a little bit glossy, and, and for copper collectors, that's considered really, really desirable. Here's the reverse side, and um, on the reverse, actually, the coin on the right, the, uh, the corroded piece, actually isn't, doesn't have quite as much corrosion. It has um, closer to kind of what I would consider to be the desirable uh, surface quality. But um, unfortunately, the obverse does have those problems, and overall, that makes this coin worth less. I, I would call this a problem coin. It probably wouldn't get certified uh, with a straight grade by either PCGS or NGC, while I feel pretty strongly that the one on the left would. So uh, hopefully you found this helpful. Just a couple of quick tips uh, around what makes copper coins, particularly you'll see people talk th about this a lot with large sense, um, what makes them desirable.